time to call Jersey Central? Join the conversation online and be a part of WCTC's real-time talk. Like 1450 WCTC on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at 1450 WCTC. Jersey Central with Burt Barron. If we could listen to the radio On the new talk radio 1450 WCTC. It's 808. It's hour number three of Jersey Central on the new talk radio WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. I'm Burt. Hello. Welcome back inside the Forge Jewelers studios. And it's great to have you here. Contest coming up just a little bit. We'll do our need to know things in this eight o'clock hour as well. Very, very honored uh, once again to be part of the annual South uh, Amboy St. Patrick's Day Parade. The parade this year uh, will going to be coming up on March 19th. Yes, it is a Sunday this year, uh, but WCTC will be part of it once again. And I think this is about six years or so that we've been uh, going to the parade in South Amboy. And uh, I'm uh, one of the honored guests again, featured guest. And uh, the people in South Amboy have been so great to me and so great to this radio station over the years that I, I cannot express my gratitude uh, adequately enough. But, uh, again, it's going to be happening coming up on March 19th. There's another special event that's coming up in South Amboy that we wanted to talk about today. It involves the South Amboy and Sayerville Rotary. And this is a 12th annual event that is happening on Friday, February 3rd. And this is a real special thing. Joining me on the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline uh, is one of the organizers. We have Greg Wiskowski, who's with us, uh, to talk about this special night uh, that is coming up very soon. Greg, good morning. It's Burt Barron. How are you? Good. Good morning to you. Good, good to talk to you. Uh, talk about what's coming up uh, on February 3rd uh, there at the uh, VFW Hall in, uh, in Sayreville. Well, it's our 12th annual Daddy Daughter Dance. Uh, we started a few years ago thinking we need a project that we can help the community with and also help the club raise money so that we could uh, bring some events to the community and international as well. And we thought, all right, the Edison Rotary Club had a Daddy Daughter Dance. We thought, let's try it. And we did it at the Parlor in uh, Knights of Columbus one year. I think we had about 50 uh, dads show up for that. And it got to the point a couple years ago where we had over 300 people at the event. We unfortunately had to turn people away. So it's become quite popular year after year. It's gotten that big? Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so uh, wow. a couple of organizations lately have uh, picked up the same idea. So I think they kind of siphoned off some of our p- the people would come to our event. But it's still getting a great response year after year. Yeah, that's that's really a special thing, and it's basically almost like a, a date night between uh, a father and a daughter, and they go out and uh, they have some fun, and uh, it's a great event, and uh, it's a nice sort of uh, family sort of building thing, I think, too, right? Oh, it is. I mean, our event, well, we've heard from other people that have attended it. Um, we have it at the VFW in Cerebral. It's more of like a, a wedding type of thing, wedding type of prom, so they get dressed up, they, the little girls get their uh, little tiaras, their corsages. We have uh, Tom Dursky from Lee Photographers, a professional wedding photographer. He's there available to actually get uh, professional photography packages that families wanted. And uh, this year, we're getting pretty close. We've been in contact the last week or two that there is a national cable TV show that wants to come film the event this year. So, you know, those things, uh, until they actually happen, let's make sure it works. But it's looking like it might happen this year. Excellent. And again, the date is coming up. It's Friday, February 3rd, beginning at 7 o'clock, and it will be at the VFW Hall on Journey Mill Road. This is uh, the one right across from uh, from Starland Ballroom. Greg, am I thinking of the right place? Exactly. Yeah, okay. You have the right place. All right. Good stuff. Uh, uh, same price as 60 per couple? 60 per couple. And then if there's uh, you know additional girl who wants to attend, because some dads you know bring two or three daughters, uh, it's 25 each additional child. That's Right now, what we're doing, the deadline has passed for the mail-in order, so all they simply do is call our office at 732-721-0400, and we take cash payments in person as space permits. Gotcha. And you know what? You're right. That's the right thing to do. If you're a dad of more than one girl, you can't you can't take one and not take the other. If you've got three or four daughters, Greg, you got to bring them all to this. That's, that's what you have to do. Exactly. And, you know, that's what we've been seeing year after year. I mean, we, we've had families calling us even in October saying, do you have the date set? I want to make sure I don't miss out this year. Yeah, excellent. And it, I'm, I'm not being a parent myself, Greg. They say that, uh, you know, when you have a son, when you're a father of a son, it's like, oh, cool, I got a, I got a boy. Maybe he'll be, uh, you know, a doctor, a lawyer, a rock star or something. They say when you have a girl as a father, your life instantly changes because you'll want to know where she is every second, who she's with. Where is she going? When will she be home? Who is she talking to? Who is she hanging out with? They say becoming the father of a girl is a life-changing experience for a father, for a guy. 
So you can definitely see that. So I do agree with that opinion. All right. Terrific. And again, uh, I know you mentioned about the deadline passing, but how does someone uh, still get involved in this? Well, again, there's two ways. They can call the office at 732-721-0400, or they could shoot me an email, greg, G-R-E-G, at custom financial.org org all right terrific greg thanks for your time this morning and uh thanks for telling me about this event and uh, this looks like a real special thing so uh continued success with this and uh, this is going to be another spectacular evening and i hope this uh, the te- this television thing comes to comes to fruition as well that sounds pretty cool it is and we appreciate your support thank you all right thank you very much all right uh, there you go 12th annual dad daughter date night that is